Hey John, my name is Jessica from Peterson SEO, and today I had the pleasure of speaking with one of your team members who thought you would be very interested in seeing this video I'm about to show you on what you can do to improve your website now so you can start bringing in more customers for free. Um, as you can see, we are on your website, and you do have a nice looking website with gorgeous photos. It looks like you guys do beautiful work. Um, one of the biggest things that I notice is that you don't have a lot of content. And Google, unfortunately, does not rate you based on appearance. They use crawlers, which are robots that index your pages, looking at your content and keywords so that they can help you find your customers. Um, and help you to rank. So the rule of thumb is you need to have a minimum of 1,500 words on your homepage targeting your buyer intent local keywords, um, which breaks down to about 150 words for every keyword that you're trying to target. Your buyer intent keywords are words that your customers are actually going to be using when they're searching Google to find your services. They may not know the name of your company, but they know the name of the services they're looking for. So you're gonna need to work on um, content of all your pages, service pages, um, and back pages. And you're gonna need to boost that content using your buyer intent keywords. If we look at your top competitor, they are presidential pools, spas, and patio. And they too have a really nice looking site. And as you'll notice, they do have more content, but they don't have enough content. Um, so if you work on your content and go after the right uh, buyer intent, local keywords, you um, can be more competitive and start getting your ranking up in Google. Now, um, something else I wanted to show you is this is a program we use called AREFs, and it helps us to analyze how a website is performing. And as you can see right here, your website is currently ranked 18 out of 100 by Google, um, which isn't terribly bad. Um, but this score is based 100% based on your backlinks. And the fact that you have 2,200 backlinks and only a score of 18 tells me that most of your backlinks are not very authoritative and you really need to have highly authoritative backlinks. Um, you have 286 keywords that Google is indexing you for right now and you're only getting traffic of about 144 people to your website organically every month and 89 paid traffic per month out of over 10,000 searches in your area every month. If we take a look at um at your competition, you can see they have a domain rating of a 27, which is not significantly higher than yours. Um, and they only have 200 more backlinks than you, which says that their backlinks are, are of higher quality than yours. Um, they also have over 3,800 organic keywords. Um, and they're getting organic traffic of over 7,000 every month, um, which tells you the power of the keywords that they're using and their backlinks. Now, um, to understand what backlinks are, they are when one website links to another website and drives traffic to their website. Google likes this because it's like a popularity contest. The more relevant and the more highly authoritative they are, the higher it pushes you in Google and the higher you're going to rank. Um, but not all backlinks are created equal. Some of them are spammy. Um, some of them are no follows and they don't do a whole lot to help you. You want to have 
do follow backlinks that are highly authoritative, which means they relate to your industry and the services that you're providing. So go after those do follow high authoritative backlinks because those do follows actually share their power with your website and help boost you faster. The next thing I wanted to show you is when a customer puts in a search in Google, one of the first things that's going to pop up are ads. And the next thing that pops up is the Google My Business or Google Map Pack. Your goal should be to be in the top three of these listings um, because 30% of customers stop right here and they don't look any further. They don't view all, they don't look at pages and websites. They call the top three. If you're not here, you're leaving money on the table and giving it to your competition. Um, so how do you get here? Um, that has a lot to do with your website and, and having that optimized, but it also has to do with something called citations, which is the name of your business, address, phone number, and website. And having those listed in a variety of different places like Facebook, Yelp, and Yellow Pages. So you need to have a whole lot of citations, way more than your competition. So now if you follow these tips I've given you today, you can become number one across Google for all of your keywords and pages. Um, and I know you're probably wondering, well, what do I do now? Well, you can either take this information I've given you and apply it yourself and that's totally okay this is free education I just ask that you please give me some feedback and let me know what you think of this video but if you decide you would like help getting this stuff done and you just don't want to have to worry about it you want to focus on your business let somebody else do all the work go ahead and give us a call at the number on your screen and we can chat thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon